Rodney Johnson is making a big splash as the Mississippi Forestry Association's Outstanding Logger of the Year. He and his crew are exceeding all expectations when it comes to how they do business in the woods. I visited them on a job site earlier this fall. Those who visit a site logged by Johnson Timber Company, owned by Rodney Johnson, might describe it as a cut above the rest. With forestry being one of the state's top commodities, the Mississippi Forestry Association understands the importance of showcasing examples of excellence in the industry. We're looking for a logger that is a good business person, is easy to work with, understands best management practices, understands how to take care of a piece of property, um, and it's also uh, the type of logger that puts safety first. They think ahead and they're training and working through uh, different scenarios and different things that they have in place as a business to put safety first. You're not eligible for the uh, logger of the year for uh, MFA if you've had a lost time accident within the past two years. Um, they met that parameter and and really the, the uh, innovations that they have on the safety front um, are at the front of the industry. We look at uh, their environmental performance. We look at uh, community outreach, it's a big deal. The biggest thing that would give us success is my dad told us, told me many years ago, to be honest and fair and treat people like you'd want to be treated. Rodney has contributed to our association, supported us, uh, sponsored meals for us, uh, very informative when he's asked questions at the meetings. Uh, it's a well-deserved, I think a little overdue award. He's very environmentally conscious. He's a big wildlife guy, he enjoys outdoors. He's very particular with anything left on the ground. He, he does his streamside management programs. The purpose of streamside management programs is to ensure that loggers protect water quality. One example includes the use of vegetation along streams and other bodies of water to help prevent soil erosion and water runoff. It's also important not to disrupt streams with equipment or pollute them with garbage, chemicals, or fuel. MFA landowner coordinator Dave Godwin says keeping a clean site is imperative for the environment as well as the landowner. You look around, you don't see garbage. You don't see rutted up roads. Uh, you do see best management practices. So as a landowner, if you come out and look at a, a track like this that's being cut, you're gonna be happy with the performance. To ensure that environmental conservation, safety, and other parameters are met, Johnson Logging follows the guidelines of the Sustainable Forestry Initiative. SFI certified logging operations commit to being periodically reviewed by an auditor on best management practices, streamside management, and other factors. In Bruce, Mississippi, uh, I talked with some of the mill reps there and they said that um, one of the biggest things was about Mr. Rodney was they asked for tracks to pull, uh, to be audited for environmental conformance and they usually just ask for one track, but he always would provide three or four tracks. He'd go above and beyond on. In fact, Rodney Johnson feels so strongly about integrity and honesty that he also audits himself. Well, we start with our logging crew leader, our crew chief, and, and uh, they'll go out and do the BMP audits. And then we have a registered forester on staff, Billy King. He's been with us 11 years. And then he comes out and does an audit. And then I randomly do audits behind Billy and then a lot of the mills like Norboard and Warehouser and Georgia Pacific and different ones, they come out and do audits. We do that on every track that we're on. So uh, we want to be a good steward of the land even though we're removing trees. We help facilitate getting trees put back and, and try to help the landowner manage it in a way that's good for forest, also good for recreation and good for income. So. Right. Uh, as my dad said, have the cake and eat it too. Another contributor to the company's success is the use of efficient communication with landowners, mills, and local government. I like to take people out and show them something that's similar to what they had and what it would look like afterwards because we don't want any surprises and, uh, you know, we want them to know what to expect. We generally plan about two to three months ahead far as with the meals and, and we have good communication with the meals as to what they are needing for a certain or particular time. If they have an outage or something, we schedule around it and try to move our crews on hardwood or pine, whatever the need might be for that time. We have a meeting with the, with the crew. We'll have maps and um, locations and we'll discuss. We'll have a sheet that we give them as to where they'll haul the different products on a stand. Because depending on the location, you haul to different meals. 
We also have to make sure that we meet with the local uh, supervisors and have a road plan before we go. But as a courtesy, we always call the supervisor for every county and make sure that we're on the route that they would prefer us to be on. Um, we keep scales on our trucks and uh, we implement uh, a no overweight policy with our drivers. Uh, and, and if there were to be an overweight ticket, uh, actually the driver has to pay it. Johnson Timber does not pay it. That does not, that's to not incentivize them to have an overload. There's no gain for them to do it and uh, it just is a safety factor. MFA Clay County Chapter President Bryant Millsaps says Johnson sets a good example for others, both personally and professionally. MFA Timber Harvest Committee Chair Chris Lewis says selecting Mississippi Forestry Association's outstanding logger involved a lengthy nomination form as well as on-site visits. The statewide winner will also compete for regional outstanding logger and potentially move up to the national level. We go look at each candidate's that are uh, submitted by the County Forester Association and you know basically score each candidate accordingly and try to select the best representation. He is a role model even for his employees, for his family. Uh, we had a conversation before I got here uh, on that very thing, how to improve his employees, how to, how to watch them, how to know what level they, they, they reach their potential and to support that. But he runs good equipment, new equipment. If one of our crews were to have a, a breakdown or one of the meals calls us at 12 o'clock and for some reason even meals break down and they, they cut us off, we can immediately access all our trucks and divert them somewhere else. Um, we have computers on all of our equipment today and, and uh, if we have an issue with a truck or even our logging equipment, we get an email that says the temperature is too high and this or something. So that's something we never had before. We try to keep everybody that can run at least two pieces of equipment. So if somebody has a problem or can't show up for work, we can keep running at full capacity. If the cutter man can run the skidder, then he's gonna cut and stack the wood in a way that helps the skidder man do a better job and vice versa. They're not working against each other. Johnson says he feels honored to be named Outstanding Logger and humbly credits his family, crew members, and the Lord. Talked to our family about it, and, and it was an honor just to be nominated. I really have to give all the credit to our employees. We have such a great team uh, at Johnson Timber. But most of all, I give the Lord the, the credit for, you know, blessing our family and our company. With a testimony like that, it's easy to see why Johnson Timber Company was chosen for Mississippi Forestry Association's 2017 Outstanding Logger of the Year. Rodney Johnson says his grandchildren are already interested in continuing the family tradition of running a business that's considered a cut above the rest. From North Mississippi, I'm Amy Myers reporting. It's always good to hear when another generation is interested in continuing a successful and award-winning uh, family business such as Johnson Timber Company. It certainly is, I mean, very good story there.